I see a lot of people with dogs these days, a lot of dog owners. Um, and I always grew up with dog troubles. I was jumped on as a little child, four years old. German Shepherd jumped on me. And yeah, it was not the most pleasant experience, but for whatever reason, after that, I just never had any interest in dogs or having a dog. And um, I kind of grew up with it not being that much of an issue. There are a handful of people who had dogs when I was delivering newspapers. Oh, and by the way, if you don't like dogs, probably not the best thing to deliver newspapers because that is quite... Uh, dog heavy type of job so I delivered newspapers as a child for over seven years so I saw my fair share of dogs I think that just compounded my lack of interest in dogs now that's the extent of it I don't have any I don't have any terrible feelings about dogs. It's more about the dog owners and their lack of ability in training the animals. That's when it gets dangerous. And, you know, I see children running around and I kind of worry about safety and whatnot. But I don't know, because I was that child once and I don't want to have to worry about a dog running after me. Um, so... Uh, you know, when I go for runs and whatnot today, I see a lot of people with their dogs off leash and they're running towards me and I'm just like, it's kind of uncomfortable. I just want to do my thing in peace. So, I don't know, am I a bad person for this? It seems like it. It's unimaginable to not pet a dog that seems to walk by you. Like, you have to acknowledge it. And if you don't, you're some evil person. And I don't know, I I respect dogs. I just don't get the reason for having them as pets. My big concern is that a lot of people have dogs in very small apartments. And it's just not conducive to the health of the animal, the, Dogs need to be roaming free, and you're you're basically caging them up all day in a in a in a box, and it's not a pleasant experience. So I think a lot of people get dogs for selfish reasons. They get them for companionship, and not really to take care of the thing, but more just because they're lacking in some sort of aspect of their life. They're not getting unconditional love from their significant other, or they're not happy. Maybe they're depressed or anxious, and a dog alleviates that. So that's what happens. But imagine, so you got to work tomorrow. You got a super important meeting, and guess what? Your pet has to go for a walk to do the business at 5 a.m., 3 a.m., no, 2 a.m., how about 1 a.m. in the morning? So they head to your bedroom and wake you up and completely disrupts your day. Then you can't get back to sleep because you're thinking about work tomorrow. And then all of a sudden, you only had one hour of sleep, two hours of sleep because the dog kept you up. And... Hey, I see this. I've seen it outside the apartment when I've had late, late nights or I woke up and I had to go to the washroom and I looked out the window and lo and behold, somebody was walking their pet. Not that they wanted to. They looked quite reluctant to, but they had to. So it's interesting. And I haven't even begun to talk about the, the odor. Your, your apartment if you've got furniture, you've got to worry about odors and pet hairs, and there's there's a whole commitment to all of this that a lot of people don't understand until after the fact. So then they have a super stressed day at work, and then afterwards they get home, and guess what? It doesn't stop there. They now have to deal with the stresses of 
taking care of the dog or whatnot. And I'm thinking, was this really, was this thought through? Was it, was it really a plan? Did you know? Did you try to babysit an animal before buying one? So, now there are some decent dog owners out there. They are able to train the pet. They're able to have a good relationship. They have the, the space. They have a house big enough to, to carry a dog. And they are able to care for it in a very appropriate manner. I have nothing against those people. Absolutely fine. And I wish that was more the case. But with the cost of living and the cost of having a place these days, having a dog is more likely to be happening in with a with like an apartment dweller, somebody who lives in an apartment, very small as it is, and they bring the dog on. And the dog can maybe run back and forth. Maybe it's what, fifty, sixty feet tops. There's not much not much roaming around. Dogs used to be like a wild thing. I don't know if that's still a thing. I think it was really big in Romania. Dogs were were wild. I don't know if they still are over there, but wild dogs were a thing. Don't know if they still are, could be. But now they're so domesticated and it's interesting to me. What does it say about society? What's lacking in society that we have to revert to dogs, to other animals? I mean, it's not just dogs, it's cats, but since we're talking about dog troubles here, for me here, uh, might as well stay on that topic. But dogs, I mean, why, why is society lacking in something? This was never a huge popular thing back in the day. There were always dog owners, but they had the space, and they seemed put together for the most part. But now, I'm sort of questioning why this is the norm. It's become the norm. And if somebody asks you if you have pets, and you say you don't have any, they look at you like, that's surprising. Why, why don't they have pets? Do they not like animals? Are they cruel? Are they weirdos i don't know it's a little a little odd but i will say there's a financial consideration that people have to think about before they buy that pet they are going to need to look th- look into that you know it's not a simple thing to just go out and buy it and it'll all fall into place sure they sleep a lot of the time, or maybe they're fairly easy to maintain in some aspects, but it's something you gotta think about. I would, I would think. I wouldn't know. I've never had a dog. And sure, I'm sure it brings some benefits to somebody's life. I mean, it's scientifically proven that dogs bring benefits. A lot of the benefits that I saw listed on a medical research website I was like yes those all make sense but those are all things that can get checked off through a meaningful relationship so what is going on there what is not being communicated what is lacking here hey some people are destined to be single forever and that's where I can understand the acceptance of an animal sure go for it you know, if you've accepted that, it's kind of a terrible way of looking at one's life, but people are doing that, and if that's what they so choose, that's fine. I think they could be better, I think they could push for more, but I understand that side of things as well. So, that's what I got about that. If I'm going to, I guess in summary, if I'm going to have to clean up pets, what goes through my head is, if I'm going to commit to this, 
why not put the extra effort in, commit to raising a child, and putting my efforts into that so that that child is loved to the absolute fullest versus versus taking care of a pet as some sort of replacement to a child i don't i don't know hey people do it both they they've got the pet they got the child they they can do it all Although, doesn't something suffer? Doesn't something get lost in translation? Doesn't the child or the dog get left behind? How, how does that all work out? The children need attention. The dog needs attention. So, which one is it? Is it possible to give attention to all of this? And then your husband is sitting in the corner there, pretty much neglected entirely, because, well, you've got an army of people to take care of. And then what? And then the woman maybe doesn't want to have to deal with it all. So then maybe the guy has to deal with it. Well, the woman is sitting in the corner relaxing, which is absolutely fine, however that arrangement goes. But is it? Is that the, are those the stresses of the world that people want? So, that's my thought about that. Maybe one day, I keep saying that's my thought, but then something else comes up. You know, maybe someday I could accept a golden retriever. You know, I could look at a golden retriever and be like, yeah, I could, I could live with a golden retriever. That's something I could do. I could, I could have that. They seem like dogs I could get along with. You know, I could go for runs with them. I could go for runs with them. <laughs> and then everything else is probably quite annoying to the point of, well, probably should have just had a child, and, you know, raise them up because that at least would be a legacy. In 20 years, it dog doesn't leave any sort of legacy behind there's there's nothing of value that they leave behind memories yes fond positive memories absolutely but that's it and yes people leave those memories too but the bond between child and parent is what i would think is quite special and something that could last for decades and decades. And then when you grow old, your children can take care of you. They can keep you company. And a dog, well, a dog can keep you company, but can't really take care of you. With that being said, we have care homes, senior living, so a lot of children revert to ditching their parents, leaving them in that old folks home and moving off with their lives. So I could understand why this whole loneliness of it all is being addressed by pets because your kids move out and, oh, I don't really have anything exciting in my life. I'm going to go get the dog because my kids have moved out. So you got the elderly people that are picking up pets because it keeps them keeps them happy and it forces them to go out for walks so absolutely I could see the benefit in that um, so uh, for sure there's some dog troubles I'm, I'm definitely not the only one I looked into this there's a there's a whole community of people and they kind of have a terrible outlook on on dogs and I don't have anything against the idea of the dog. It's probably just a more opposed to the idea of how dogs are treated, right? And that a lot of behaviors these days is becoming less acceptable, I would say. It's just a little bit inhumane, I guess you could say. Just how how the dogs are 
living in these smaller apartments and not being cared for the way they should be. So there's that end of it, but yeah. I don't know what to say. I I I appreciate both sides. I'm more closely firm on my dog-free stance. But I understand why people would go for them. I can appreciate the desire. I can appreciate the benefits the dogs bring. So I'll leave it at that. Chew on it. Think about it. Let me know what you think. Dogs? No dogs? Dog free? Dog plenty? <laughs> okay, take care. Bye.